And so you were in Boston, mm-hmm. and you were booked on which flight? On flight eleven um, out of out of Logan. Out of Logan, yeah. And was that the first one or the second it was one? Was the first one. The first one to hit the tower, and you were in Boston doing what? I was in. I was actually down in Providence, which is about forty minutes out of Boston, doing a lecture at my old college, mm-hmm. and I overslept, and the. Um, you know, the driver picked me up from the hotel and was literally, like, breaking traffic laws to get me there on time. It's ironic now when you think about it that he was hustling to yeah. get you to the grave. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. just running red so <laughs> Seth MacFarlane wouldn't do another season yes. of The Family Which I'm guy. sure the Parents' Television Council, uh, w- 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 I'm sure, wishes that he had made <laughs> it. would have been nice if that yeah. guy had just done the, done the ride on the red. Exactly. So exactly. this guy's making, I mean, he's supposed to pick you up at what time? Um, he he. Uh, well, the, the flight was was scheduled for for um, uh, seven forty five, and I, I yeah, and right, I had uh, my my. This was coupled with the fact that my travel agent had written eight fifteen on the itinerary that I had, mm-hmm. so it was like a half hour off anyway, and I'm right. already running late. I get there, and I get to the I get to the counter, and they said you're too late. You're too late. We just closed the gate. You know, and I'm like, oh, God, all right, well, I'm a little hungover anyway. Can right. I just get the 11 o'clock? Got a ticket, went to wait in the lounge, fell asleep, and then woke up, you know, 45 minutes later. Now, what time did you get to the airport? I was I was probably there uh, probably by, like, close to, close to 8. And it was a 7.45 flight. And the driver showed up on time, right? Or, or, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 7, 8, 8.15 was when I thought it was. So I got there probably, like... I want to say like seven thirty, and and so the flight was still there when yeah. you got there, and the driver showed up on time. He was just hanging outside the motel hotel that you're at, yeah, waiting for you to wake up, get your yep. shit together, exactly. and get downstairs. And I, you know, the other thing is, I I had missed many flights before then. You know, it wasn't yeah. like this is the first flight I'd missed. I missed flights, morning flights. I missed all the time because I just don't like to get up early. Right. No, I know that about you. But <laughs> When Seth MacFarlane is late, he gets to go, you want to you wanna know? Let me tell you another time I was late, son. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, in your brain, you've not only equated... Wow. I mean, seriously, like most gotta, people aren't alive one, yeah. because they're late. Right. I mean, it's not that people, you know, people give you a sort of celebrity pass. They don't bust your chops too much. <laughs> you were a little bit late tonight. I, I didn't th- give you a tough time about it. <laughs> but you were here because you were late. Like, it literally saved your life. It's a, it's, it's a really a horrible mixed mm, message mm. to send to yourself. Yeah. But yeah. if anyone has an excuse for being late. Well, you know, the, 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 the weird thing was, I, I, what I remember is once they... They started, you know, once everyone kind of blinked and said, af- you know, after we took our eyes off the TV and said, all right, wait, now what do we do? My my thought was, wait, these guys were just here in the airport. Did they leave a little, you know, jokey Smurf surprise package, you know, here? Right. You know, do, I, we should probably, <laughs> you know, they started hustling everyone out. And I'm like, that, that's, that's. Something they started that's hustling kinda, everyone out of the yeah, airport. They, yeah, evacuated the airport. And they evacuated the airport just because it's like well, we got to do something and we well, don't know pro- what to probably do. Probably because those guys were there, and you know, I mean, who knows? Oh, oh, who? Yeah, who surprises. left a bomb? Yeah, who left yeah, a yeah. bomb. Yeah, because uh, yeah, they they just all passed through Logan. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry when you said they, I thought you meant the passengers. Yeah, you mean the terrorists? Yeah, yeah. just all passed through this airport moments yeah. earlier. Mm-hmm. That'd be god damn. I mean, for all the screeners and yeah. all the guys working security and everything, that had to be totally surreal to them yeah yeah i mean it's it, i you know nobody knew what to do and it's it, it was it I, there, there was one little moment that was uh odd, oddly you know just a, 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 i remember there was a little speck of uh speck of warmth and all of that i was i walked up to the bar at like you know after we'd you know this was probably about like nine thirty when we had people, seen it people, on the people, news yeah people were starting to kind of do the math yeah and walk up to the bar and i said to the bartender uh you know, is it too too early for a scotch? And he goes, "No, no, it's on the house, pal." It's this wow. great kind of old west exchange. Like, really? You know, at the end, yeah. of, the end of the day, two fingers, two it, fingers playing. Exactly. Yeah, that is uh, awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, and and by the way, did your brain? I mean, uh, we're talking about not being able to shut it off and not being able to. I mean, m- most people would have just been in this weird fugue state of sort of numbness at the end of their fingers and that kind of stuff for you 
I imagine you weren't that way. I mean, even though you knew you should have been dead at this moment mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in a ball of flames on the side of that building, it was you it still was, lucid and aware. Yeah, yeah I, I was. I was. I mean, I, I was. I was. I, it, what was going through my head was 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 <laughs> gratitude toward the travel agent who had made the mistake, right? And and you know, gratitude toward the. Jack Daniels that I consumed the night before. <laughs> right, because you would have been late probably yeah. probably anyway. Yeah. But never never and and never a never a, a feeling of now I'm on a mission. No. I mean now no. I must go forth and I've been touched by whoever not, and I've not, been chosen. Not for a second, no. You didn't no. have a second that that's not, what I love not about one you. Second. I love that part that you don't feel special. Because, again, it's, you know, so there were other people that missed that flight. And I, I, like I said, I've missed other flights before this. It's not, if, if it, 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 I mean, somebody, somebody misses every flight. There's right. always, there's always some right. person who misses every flight. Yeah. And on this one, I happen to be, could it could have just as easily been somebody else. Uh, I have a few questions, uh, by the way, because we uh, sort of, no, 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 no. Because we didn't, we didn't, uh, I, I put it up on the website. I want to know if people had questions for you because uh, I know you have a big presence out there.